In this video, I will highlight the importance of attending to the referent of a percent or a fraction. So in general, there are two ways to compare two values. We can either compare using absolute comparison or relative comparison. So in absolute comparison, we are actually comparing in terms of difference. Whereas in relative comparison, we are comparing in terms of ratio. And that ratio can be expressed either as a fraction or a percent. So in, as an example, we will be comparing $55 and $44. So the first question is, Elsa says I have $11 more than Anna, and Anna says I have $11 less than Elsa. Who is correct? In this case, the answer is C. Both of them are correct because the $11 difference applies both ways. Right? $55 is 11 more than $44, and $44 is $11 less than $55. Now, let's compare using a percent. So this time Elsa says, I have 20% more than Anna, and Anna says, I have 20% less than Elsa. Who is correct? What do you think? So, let's represent using a strip diagram. Elsa has 5 equal parts of $11, whereas Anna only has 4 parts. Right? Now, in order to decide who is correct, let's rephrase it. What Elsa is essentially saying $55 is 20% more than $44. Whereas Anna is saying $44 is 20% less than $55. Now in this case, who do you think is correct? Right. There is a difference of $11. This $11 is 20% of what? Alright. So in general, when Elsa says I have 20% more than Anna, the 20% is actually referring to the 20% of Anna's $44, right? So the reference of this 20 is $44. Whereas Anna's 20% is referring to Elsa's $55. So in this case, 20% of $55 is $11. So Anna is correct. But Elsa's 20% of $44 is only $880. Elsa is incorrect then. So for this case, the answer is B. How about let's compare using a fraction. This time, Elsa says I have a quarter more money than Anna, whereas Anna says I have a quarter less money than Elsa. So who is correct? Now, the $11, again, we want to be asking, is a quarter of what? So, again, the a quarter, when Elsa says I have a quarter more money than Anna, this quarter is referring to Anna's $44. So, a quarter of $44 is indeed $11. So, Elsa is correct. 